All right, we're back for another office hours, and I'm hoping that a few of you are joining in. We've got a, a cool topic to talk about today, one of our frequently asked questions. As always, I will tell you that uh, you know, if you're there and have any other questions, please pop them in. I'll do my best to answer them. If not, always engage with us on social media, so we're here to, to help you, especially as you're probably stuck at home trying to find ways to be productive and all that stuff. Um, so one of the most frequently asked questions we get is, you know, can you hang a wine rack in drywall? Uh, it's a very simple question, and a lot of people are afraid to say yes. Uh, the answer is a resounding yes, however. And, and the reason that we can feel comfortable recommending this, beyond the fact that, you know, our, our wine racks have been safely held in drywall for decades since we've been a company, you know, we think about two things that are going to um, dictate whether something hangs in a wall properly or not. One is going to be... Uh, basic weight load, right? You know, uh, how much does a drywall anchor hold in terms of its weight? And what is it rated for? And then two is how is the product or the wall thing engineered? You know, so where is that weight being being dissipated to? So we have a couple of different products that have, um, we have a couple of different products that have, actually for every one of our products is wall, that's wall mounted is rated for drywall. And so we look at what's behind me is our Vino pins. That's the one that's not as obvious. Um, it's a two, it's a, a single bottle base point and they can go right into drywall and it's a really simple system I'm going to show you. And the reason that we know this works is twofold. One, we know that the drywall anchors that we're using in there are rated to hold about 25 pounds each. So you've got 50 pounds total, right? A bottle of wine full, three pounds. The other thing to look at is our collar system. And this is where the ingenuity comes in. This piece right here pinches the drywall with the butterfly anchor on the back. And that's what gives us stability in single, double, and even triple depth bottles, uh, uh, bottle configurations. As you can see here, like in the single depth, it's like you can really yank on this and you can tell by the vibration that I'm actually trying pretty damn hard to pull this out. But these are going nowhere. Even when you're out here on like the third rung, there's a little bit of give, but it doesn't come anywhere close to the amount of weight that you're going to be holding. So you can do that very, very safely and not have to worry about it. The other systems that we have are the W series columns, which have been the, the mainstay of our product line for since 2001. And those max capacity can hold 36 total bottles. Start doing the math on that, maybe 110, about 110 pounds per section that it holds. Each of those sides, or there's two strips, are gonna have three different drywall anchors, so a total of six anchor points. Start adding the weight loads. So again, if you go to like Home Depot and Lowe's, you pick up a drywall anchor, it's gonna say 50 pounds, 75 pounds. Um, you multiply that by the number of anchors that are in there and you're going to see that you're going to have a weight load way above that 100 pounds, 110 pounds. The engineering that comes into it is those strips use what's called shear weight. So when the weight itself pulls down, you know, you've got a strip against the wall, kind of like this, and the weight pulls down and it pushes back against the wall. So it's actually supporting itself a little bit. Um, one of the best ways to illustrate the shear weight is I installed these in my home seven, eight, nine years ago. And it, it was before Vintage U offered hardware along with its racking. So I went into like my my garage, pulled out some little itty bitty drywall screws or anchors or something totally not worth, you know, totally not something safe to hang anything on because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really follow the instructions. That's why I'm in marketing and not in construction. And I installed these and they held up totally fine. Uh, a year or so ago, I went to replace some of the racking, add some more in, and I went to take them off the wall, and they literally just popped out. I did not even fasten these into the wall, but the sheer weight, the way that the weight just dis distributed from top to bottom, kept it in place. So that was even like without, you know, the actual anchor doing what it's supposed to do. So you combine that with the proper anchor and the proper installation, and these things are not going anywhere. We also do this. So that is a, a 36 bottle bottle array. We, we have wall mounted systems in the drywall that hold three times the number of bottles that you can do an 81 bottle section on our evolution wine wall, which is three bottles wide about that and three bottles deep. So the weight rating there, we use uh, butterfly anchors at three different points on both sides. So you might even be four. And so each of those is going to hold 50 pounds plus you again, you see the actual weight rating is always going to cover 
the amount of weight that we're having um, put on there. Um, so it's really, really easy to explain to people that when you think about that and you think about the engine, the engineering that goes into how to the rack actually hangs on the wall, combine those. And there's really no issue of putting incredibly valuable bottles of wine um, into drywall. Not an issue. We do it every single day of our existence and we back it by a lifetime warranty. So if you have any issues and you follow the instructions and use our hardware, you know, we have you covered. I will say this though, if you're watching this and you are a, an interior designer, um, you're an architect, uh, wine cellar builder, whatever, and you're working with your clients, um, a lot of times you're gonna have trouble convincing them of the fact, especially the clients that are doing these voluminous wine cellars that have 2,000 bottles, 3,000 bottles, many of which are worth 100, 200, 300, 400 bot dollars a bottle. Uh, they don't want their bottles hanging in drywall, no matter how much you tell them about sheer weight, about drywall anchor ratings, et cetera. And so if you're doing a pre-build construction project, it's a really simple upgrade. It's not very expensive to put a hardwood backer, plywood, et cetera, um, behind the wall. So it's not drywall. This will do two things. One, give them peace of mind. You know, they know that if you put a screw into, into a hardwood, you're good. Uh, they're not going to argue with you at all on that point. And two, it's actually going to speed up the installation a little bit. Uh, the drywall anchors are easy to work with, but they probably take, you know, 10% more time per per screw hole to install. So if you're doing that in an over array, you're going to save yourself a lot of time in terms of the actual installation thing. So it's going to be a little bit quicker as well as that. So that said, it doesn't matter. Like if you're doing a, a wet bar kind of like this, if you're doing a small project, even if you're doing a larger project and you don't have access to put in backer board or you don't want to for whatever reason, know that all the systems that we, that we ship out come with drywall hardware and drywall instructions, and they're rated to last a lifetime in that drywall install properly. So you can do this without any worry, and it's you know it's easy drywall anchor stuff. Uh, that's uh, that's the big picture of this. We'll link up a blog that we cover this in more detail that explains a little bit more about the ratings and, and how how this ha this happens. So you can do this with uh with all your projects. If you guys have any questions, this will be posted up and sit on Facebook Live, you know, Facebook land for forever and ever, and, and we will respond to any comments or questions or just shoot us an email on any other uh, shoot us a comment in any other Facebook post, and we're happy to answer as well. Hope this was informative. We're going to be back here every week at 2.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Thursdays to come with a topic. And if there's any folks out there watching, we're, you know, live, we're happy to answer any questions that you guys have, uh, you know, before, during, or after. Have a great day. <coughs>